hello guys this is my second video on the k-means algorithm and this is the second example so uh, here we can see that uh, it is given uh, that we have to create two clusters and these are the coordinates uh, it is represented in the uh, coordinate format now these are the coordinates 2 comma 2 3 comma 2 for all the objects and uh, this is the distance formula Euclidean distance formula so first uh, our first step is suppose uh, our first step is to find the distance of uh, uh, each object with every other object we have to find the distance of a with a b c d e distance of b with a b c d e so we have to find the distance of each object with every other object right so this can be uh, you, uh, distance can be found out with the help of this Euclidean formula so um, suppose you have to find the distance between a and b so uh, the coordinate for a is 2 comma 2 and the coordinate for b is 3 comma 2 so by distance formula x2 minus x1 that is 3 minus 2 the whole square that is the root of 3 minus 2 the whole square plus uh, 2 minus 2 the whole square so it become our answer becomes 1 so distance between a and b becomes 1 similarly we can find uh, every other distance now the uh, after we get uh, the distance of uh, each object with the every other object the next uh, step is to assume uh, the centroid so first uh, so now what we do is we assume two centroids so i will first assume uh, centroid uh, c1 to be uh, 2 comma 2 and the C to be uh, 1 comma 1 so I have assumed two centroids these two A and C as two centroids okay now what I have to do is so the two centroid and that is A and C this is A 2 comma 2 this is C 1 comma 2 so once we get two centroids so next what I do is um, I will have to find the distance of every object that is the, the, the distance of the a b c d e object with respect to the centroids so next what i do is uh, find the distance of c12 comma 2 with a c12 comma 2 with b so uh, by using the same uh, euclidean distance formula i can uh, find out the uh, distance so uh, once we get the distance now our next step is to uh, but arrange this object that is we have to assign these objects to either uh, this group or this group remember these are two clusters since in the question it is given uh, we have to create two clusters so we have assumed two centroids over here so okay and so there are two clusters two groups so now uh, now uh, what we do is we select uh, we place a uh, these objects into either of these groups so first uh, we will check for a so we will check if uh, what is the minimum value um, of a so it is 0 so we'll put over here similarly we check for b 1 and 2.4 1 is minimum so we'll put b over here similarly we can check for c 1.41 and 0 so we can put c over this group because 0 is smaller similarly 1.41 is smaller and 0.14 is smaller so the grouping is done now and uh, now uh, we have to again do the same thing that is we have to compute the centroid and uh, again the same thing so now uh, we have to again compute the centroid we have to compute the centroid for the group 1 and the group 2 for group 1 we compute the centroid as follows uh, see the coordinates uh, it is 2 plus 3 plus 3 2 plus 2 plus 1 it came from here you can see that group 1 contains uh, group 1 contains a b and d so it is here over here a b and d this is a b and d so we have to add this 3 uh, we have to find the mean of this 3 so 2 plus 3 plus 3 divided by 3 2 plus 3 plus 3 divided by 3 it is given over here 2 plus 3 plus 3 divided by 3 similarly 2 plus 2 plus 1 divided by 3 it is given over here 2 plus 2 plus 1 divided by 3 you get the same thing similarly we can do for C2 uh, that is the second group and that's how we get uh, again the centroids now we will again choose the centroid as C1 C2 
and once we get this we have to again find out the distance uh, of centroid c1 with a b c d and uh, again we have to form the grouping uh, as follows now we can see that the group uh, is uh, the group over here is same as the group over here these two are same so uh, we will stop uh, over here and this will the this will be the final cluster a b d will be in group 1 and c will be in group 2 that's all thanks for watching